Now I'm hoping that you clicked on this video because you're currently going through a serious rut when it comes to getting creative with drum fills. Today, I'm gonna to give you a tip, dead simple tip, that's gonna break you out of that rut just like that. Now it doesn't matter how long you've been playing, every single drummer has eventually hit a creative plateau. I've hit it hundreds of times in the last 30 years. You might find yourself in, you know, these sort of blocks of time where you just can't come up with anything cool. All your fills sound the same and, um, and you're, you're just boring yourself to death. And it can be pretty discouraging, man, because you know you're good. The skill is there. But the thing is this, like it doesn't always come down to a physical problem when, um, when we're talking about coming up with fills. Like it's not a matter of having all these chops and stuff. It's really just a matter of thinking. Now whenever we're faced with the task of coming up with some creative drum fills, our attention is automatically drawn to the toms, right? That's our default setting. We associate toms with drum fills. So when we're practicing, you know, we're sitting there trying to come up with these cool combinations like hand and foot combinations and all kinds of different stuff. And even with all of those options, we still end up sometimes spinning our wheels, playing the same fills over and over again. One simple tip that you can do to literally double your creativity on the drums, and this is something I started doing years ago, man, Ignore all your toms, play the entire fill on your snare drum. The most musical and dynamic and diverse instrument on your entire kit is your snare drum. So a lot of times, you know, in the middle of a song or whatever, um, you know, when I go to play a fill, I'll play the entire thing just on the snare. No kick, no hats, no toms, no cymbals, nothing. The entire thing is just isolated to the snare drum. And you'd be surprised, man, at how incredibly cool and how incredibly musical and a lot easier it is to do. Don't underestimate the musicality and the dynamic range of this one instrument. That's why it's okay to just play your fill on this. You don't need any help from anything else here. Now, truthfully, the better your hands are developed, the better this is gonna work out for you, the better this is gonna end up sounding, but it doesn't mean you can't work towards that. The more you work on a practice pad, you know, the easier this is gonna become. Let me just give you a couple of musical examples to put this whole thing in context for you. Now, a very simple way that you can start to practice this idea on your kit 
is to just sit down on your drums, all right? Grab your sticks, give yourself some time, and all you're gonna do is just play straight 16th notes on your snare, that kind of thing. But you wanna play them as musically and as dynamically as possible. And the best way to do that is to just, you know, play the two zones on your snare. You're gonna use the middle of the drum and then your accents are gonna be played using rim shots. And that's it. So you're just gonna sit down and just and just play some musical accents, you know, throughout your string of sixteenths. The thing that you need to keep in mind while you're doing this is that every single thing that you play on the snare is a potential fill. Now you of course want to do this at a bunch of different tempos and you also want to include 16th note triplets as well, right? Just so you're prepared for, you know, any type of shuffle grooves and hip hop grooves and jazz and anything that swings basically. But yeah, that's the whole idea is to just start the practice playing fills just on your snare drum. Now I suggested starting with 16th notes because that is the most practical and probably the most used rudiment that um, you're going to be able to apply to pretty much any musical genre that you're currently playing. But, and I need to stress, but it does not stop there. All right. You eventually want to include all of your favorite rudiments. You definitely want to get some doubles in there. Flams, drags, Rattam cues, flippity flops, all of that stuff. You can apply all of that to this idea. As a matter of fact, the more of those rudiments that you add to this whole idea, the tastier these fills are going to sound. So that's it, man. That's a very small and simple idea that can smash a gigantic hole through that brick creative wall that you just ran into. And it's something that you can apply or at least start working on right now. So have some fun with it, man. That's all I got to say about it. I'm out of here. Thanks for watching this video. New viewers, new subscribers. Welcome to the channel, man. These are the types of tips that you get here on this channel. 
So make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is coming out. If you haven't already hit the subscribe button, there it is right there. Make sure you mash that before you bounce. If you haven't been to the merch store yet, I got a merch shop that's full of a bunch of uh, cool t-shirts and hoodies for drummers. If you haven't stopped by and you ordered something yet, hold off. Hold off, man. I got an announcement coming next week. I'll let you know what that is in the next video. As for now, drop a comment below. As always, hit me up with a like. Share this video if you dig it. See you next video.